Thanks, y'all. Good to see you. And it is cold here. Well, my name is Cassie. This is my husband, Ben. We're called Gold Pine, and uh, we are full-time traveling musicians. Last year, we played over 200 shows, and we travel in a van that's parked out back. We had to move it because it takes up like four spaces. Um, but on, honestly, that's only when I park it because he can actually. I was, I was really praying nobody was watching this today. It took me like seven times, and then I still didn't get in the lines, and so he just had to park the van. But anyways, he converted it into a tiny home, and we travel around the U.S. with that. And it's so much fun getting to do what you love with the person you love. And uh, we're going to be celebrating our 15-year wedding anniversary pretty soon. So that really uh, shows you that you got a strong marriage when you can travel around for months in a van where you can touch each side with your arms. You know, it's a small space, and it's a lot of fun. This has been on our radar. We've always wanted to play this since we first heard about um, NPR doing them. And so thank you for having us here. Thanks for coming out. And um, we're going to sing some music for you. And what we call our music is Americana, but really we're storytellers. And so by the end of this set, you'll feel like that you've probably read our diary. And basically, we'll be best friends. You done doing one for me? could wander away and build yourself some time get a monkey off your back leave the sorrow on the side you could speak your mind When your world is given out Tell them how you feel Say it all out loud some love It will always be enough hey. When you've got nothing to give Give up some of your Still getting used to the altitude. <laughs> Last night I said, sometimes I kind of hang, hang on to some notes. 
And last night I said, I really thought I was going to pass out on one of those notes. And he said, that would be the greatest show ever. <laughs> they would never forget us. You'd never forget that. So I might, I might take one for the team tonight. <laughs> Just... Well, uh, in our career, we've recorded one song that we did not write, and uh, we'll share that song with you now. We'll see if uh, anybody knows who's, who did write and record this song originally. I still miss someone at my door, the are falling A cold wild wind will come Sweethearts walk by together And I still miss someone I go out on Anybody know who did that originally? Johnny Cash. Yeah, you said it, and you said it right there. And you should have known it from last night, Missy. <laughs> last night, we uh, played in Montrose. And uh, last night, we, we, we did that, and then we said we would give away a free CD. I guess we kind of didn't do that for y'all. Sorry. But it was uh, it was funny, though, because... We said, whoever, you know, gets it first gets a free CD. And then we asked how many people in the audience could actually play a CD. And uh, the person that won uh, came up to the merch table and he said, hey, I don't have a way to play a CD. Just just keep that. Make, make some money off of it. He was funny. Anybody here have a way to play a CD? All right. Well, all four of y'all better buy a CD then. <laughs> Dang it. I grew up.
grew up in the Midwest, in the great state of Iowa. And uh, my whole family still lives there in Iowa. A town called Oskaloosa. What's happening over there? Is this a horror movie? What's happening right that now? That was my keyboard. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it did sound like a... Nobody likes Iowa, okay? I'm so sorry. Anyways, where were you guys? No one's required. Oh, that was funny. Thank you. Carry on. Well, uh, <laughs> there was a family farm handed down to my grandfather in, in rural Iowa. Now. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's, I, I'm really glad that happened, though, because every time something, like you say something I don't like, now I have something to do. So now he's on board. Iowa. That totally reminds me of the movie Dune. Anybody seen Dune? Oh, yeah. So good. The second one's coming out here in a month or so. I think it's going to be good. All right, where do I? Should we Iowa. Play a so, song? Uh, no, no, no. Let's start over. Iowa. It's a great state. My family, my mom's side of the family was farmers. A, he had a farm handed down to him. My grandfather did. And uh, it didn't take long after that farm was handed down to my grandfather that he realized he simply hated farming. And so, in the early 60s, he sold that family farm in rural Iowa, and he moved to Omaha, Nebraska to be an electrician. And uh, a few years back, my mom sent me and my brothers a copy of that farm for sale sign that my grandfather made when he sold that farm. We've got that poster hanging in our kitchen in Nashville. And we were sitting down to write a song one evening, and we thought we would write a story from my mother's perspective. So this one's for her. It's called Lost and Found. It's on the new record. It was 1961. I was staring out into those snow white fields. That December cold was seeping through the cracks and windows seeping. I can still feel the callous hands that brought this child upon this fairy land. And, and I, I can, can hear the hum of harvesters every time I think of my granddad. Well, my father never asked for this, but generations said it was his lot. So from morning sunny to the field, but to call himself a farmer, he would not. That winter eve, I looked out as he drove that for sale sign in the ground. And as I stood there watching him, my tears that fell down didn't make a sound. Sometimes when something is lost For someone else it's found I can understand how To sacrifice yourself for someone else This life is made of seasons And some of them don't really suit We sold that farm in the Midwest and settled down in northern Omaha. Daddy picked up steel-toed boots and never put his hand back on the plow. Sometimes when something is lost, with someone else it's found. My 
our Father learned the way of laying down to rest his youngest son. Someday I will give my brother's name to one of my own children. I saw Jesus on the city bus and I told him I was all right for now. I had plans for the next few years, but we both knew that I was nowhere bound. Sometimes when something is lost, is someone else is found. Thanks, y'all. Well, this next song, people always call it the wrong name, and that's fine. Call it what you want to. Just request it. Um, they come to our shows, and they always they call it this, and I'm like, guys, but this is the story behind it. Now, if we had never told you this story, I just want to know if one person in here would have ever thought that this is what the song was about. So I heard about this contest that a Canadian product was having. The product was called Halsa. Any Canadians in the house? Never, never are. Never are. I don't know. I guess they're in Canada. I don't know. I ask all the time and nobody ever says anything. But anyways, um, they wanted you to write a love song about what love meant to you. Because what love meant to Halsa was all natural, super clean, organic ingredients in their yogurt and I was like we can write a love song about yogurt because I'm 41 now I know that you were thinking I was 21 but I'm 41 and now that I'm 41 probiotics are my friend and I actually do love yogurt I never knew but I do love it so anyways they wanted you to write a song for their jingle and so I told Ben we should do this and then I really fell in love with this song and then people are always like, oh, I thought you guys were singing that about each other. And I'm like, no, honey, it's about yogurt, okay? So anyways, they always ask for the yogurt song, but it's called Natural. I've been walking with my feet in the air. I've been finding something righteous up there. It's something that I never knew before, darling, naturally.
Yogurt. May you never eat it the same. All right, let's try something brand new. Our first album was called One. Our second album was called Two. And now we're working on three. And uh, we're playing a couple brand new songs that we have never on any other tour played out before. So we're just kind of testing them out. And this is one of them. called Down the Line. <laughs> Whoa, easy now. Thanks, y'all. That one's brand new. I'm always so afraid when you first start doing a song. Thank you. So this next song is my favorite song that we've ever written, and it's because it's about my mama. And today I got to share uh, the story with you guys. It'll be coming out in a couple months on um, the session that we did, but... My mom was my best friend, and she was sick for about three years, and she was such a fighter all the way to the end. She was short, she was sassy, and she could cook like no other, and uh, she was pretty awesome. And so one of the last times that she was in the hospital, we went home. We're, we live one mile from the hospital, and Ben said, why don't we go and write that song that you wanted to write for your mama? 
So we went home, we wrote the song, we went back up to the hospital, and unfortunately it was during COVID, and so you could only have one person in the hospital room at a time, you know? And so we wanted to do the respectful, correct, right thing, and so I snuck Ben in an emergency exit so he could be there for the first time that my mom got to hear it. And she loved this song so much. This song has had so much favor and connectivity with so many people, and I'm really, I'm really grateful for that because... She was special, and you only get one mama, and I'm so, just not enough time with her, you know. She left us when she was 64, and so it's coming up on three years, but this song is on our new album, too, and uh, it's, it's packed with a lot of love, and on this recording, uh, my dad passed away when I was 19, and as you know, I'm 21 now, and so... Um, Whenever uh, he passed away, my mama gave me his guitar, guitars and banjo. And so we've had my dad's ba- banjo hanging in our recording studio at our house, my gosh, for, you know, ever, eight, 19 years. And Ben uh, took the banjo down and played my dad's banjo on my mom's song. So there's a lot of love packed into this song, and it's called My Favorite Parts of You. It was Saturday at the Conoco. You were in the bank cutting checks for payroll. I was counting up some play money and pretending I was answering on your phone. We'd lock it up for the night. Said you wouldn't be back till Monday morning. On the way you let me steer While I was on the passenger side See, I've been watching you And I've been thinking it too How all the best parts of me my favorite parts of you The sound of your screen door closing Brings me back to a table Overflowing With large elbow mac and cheese Southern boiled pinto beans All the pots and pans Just a soak you turned and asked me what I think Did I maybe want some unsweet tea to drink? You filled my glass up to the top And I'd go and grab the lemon by the sink See, I've been watching you And I've been thinking it too all the best parts of me are my favorite parts of you Are 
my favorite parts of you.